Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project and thank you for joining me today. This video is going to be my full review of the Yates Precision Titanium 921M. This is machined out of 6AL 4V Titanium. It is machined in Pennsylvania here in the United States and I've been getting great shaves with it and it's not leaving my den anytime soon so may as well do a full review of it. Now let's get the packaging out of the way. My razor did come in this white Yates Precision Manufacturing tin, and I will show you all sides of it. And on the back it says the M plate, scalloped base plate, titanium in the as machined finish. I'm not sure if you can see that, but here is the packaging. If you open up the tin, inside is black foam padding, and there's a cover over top of it that holds the razor into place. This top layer comes out, obviously, and inside you will find a cutout where the razor goes, and this razor did come with a pack of Gillette Nasset blades. I've got Nasset blades of my own, and I'm going to use the Maxpedition blade bag today anyway, but just so you know, Yates Precision razors will more than likely come with a pack of Gillette Nassets in it. My only problem I've actually had with the packaging is the fact that when you put... Uh, the razor inside this little divot, if you pull it in and out quite repetitively, it will shake loose these black grains, which is basically the foam padding kind of coming apart due to abrasion coming in contact with the razor. But I don't think this kind of packaging is something that you're supposed to always contain the razor in day to day anyway. So that's uh, not a big deal in my personal opinion. And here the razor is right here, the Yates 921M with a 3.5 inch handle. It is made from 6AL 4V titanium. It has a 0.64 millimeter blade gap and neutral exposure. So I was right. When I was doing a lot of shaves with the Wet Shaving Club Merica razor, I figured the Merica razor had a slightly lower blade gap than the Yates 921M. And it turns out I was right. I was just guessing off the top of my head. Before, uh, before Sig Solo kindly pointed out where I could find the, the actual measurements. So we'll be comparing the Yates 921M to the Wet Shaving Club Merica Razor. We're not going to do a side-by-side -side shave, but I'll talk about how it shaves in comparison to this. The Titanium Yates weighs 1.83 ounces versus the same razor from Yates and Stainless Steel weighs 3.32 ounces. And I did pay $235 for this razor. It might sound like a lot of money. This is actually cheaper than some stainless steel razors out there. And certainly cheaper than certain titanium razors from other brands that are pushing $350, $400, even $500. So $235 for a 6AL 4V titanium razor is no joke. That is a good price for this kind of equipment. So why did I pick this razor up in titanium? Well, it's pretty simple actually, because titanium razors are low maintenance. Think about it, 6AL4V titanium. It's not gonna corrode, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna patina, it's not gonna tarnish. It's gonna look like this forever, long after I'm dead. So I can shave with it, unscrew it, throw the pieces down on my countertop and walk away. I don't have to do anything else to it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like this indefinitely. If I were to wipe it down with a towel five years from now, and that's the first cleaning it ever got, it's going to look exactly like this. That would be disgusting, but you could do it. So that's my biggest rationale for, for buying this titanium razor, is it's just a really durable, low-maintenance kind of razor. Yeah, you're going to pay extra money for machining titanium because it's difficult to machine, but in my opinion, at least with this razor, it's well worth it. Now... I suppose it's time to pick a random blade out of the Maxpedition blade bag. Let's shake it up and pick a blade. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot picking a random blade for an official razor review, but hey. 
if it's that good, it should be able to handle anything, right? Digging around. What blade is this one? Ooh, interesting. Looks like we have a treat carbon. That shouldn't be too bad. So let's put it into the Yates Titanium 921M. And when they say carbon blade, they are not kidding. This is obviously not stainless steel. But these have been good shavers, good blades for me. Not the best, but not the worst. And this head is really tight. So I tend to snap a lot of blades when I put them into the, uh, into the titanium 921M. Now, the threads on titanium razors are susceptible to, uh, to locking up. They're not malleable like a stainless steel razor. So when I screw the handle on to the head of this titanium razor, I will squeeze it just as hard as I can. That way, the, the uh, handle, excuse me, just tightens down onto an already snug head and I'm not running the risk of uh, screwing up the threads. So like the Henson razor will actually use stainless steel threads just for that reason. I'm not sure uh, if that really makes that big of a difference, but hey, I'm just letting you know it's there. The soap is going to be from Sterling. It is December, about a week and a half from Christmas, so that is a good excuse to use Sterling Haverford, a good vanilla tobacco soap inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So it is a, uh, I can smell it right through the wrapper, by the way. It's a slightly smoky vanilla tobacco scent. Uh, this uh, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille has been duped just over and over and over again. It's a good scent. And sterling soaps have beef tallow, castor oil, glycerin, almond oil, shea butter, coconut milk, and lanolin. And these one ounce samples are $4.10, so quite the bargain. Not gonna lie. For the aftershave, we're just going to use the Mirasol Metal Sol, which is what I've been using on most of my sample videos. It's a great classic aftershave, light herbaceous sort of scent. It's good stuff. And then the brush is going to be the QED Select 6324 fake horn resin kind of thing with a 24 millimeter Manchurian silver tip. Okay, let's get this started. Well, folks, 
Sorry if I scared you. But I've got 36 hours growth on the face today. And we have the Sterling Haverford loaded into the Langley City Shave Bowl with a wonderful 4 out of 5 scent strength on the Sniffo meter. Let's put it on. Wow, this stuff smells great. Sterling is the is the safe bet. If you don't know what kind of shaving soaps you want to buy, or maybe if you've got a bunch of shaving soaps and you can't decide what to use, Sterling is just that easy, dumb reach kind of soap. It's a uh, and that's a compliment. That's not a not a knock on Sterling. It's just kind of the uh, the Levi's of shaving soap. It's just the the guys that have been around for a long time and everybody's got them. It's a good good place to be in. Okay, Yates Titanium 921M with a treat carbon blade in it. Here we go. Very nice. A bit more audible feedback than the uh, Wet Shaving Club America Razor, if I do say so. There's also a bit more blade feel than the uh, Wet Shaving Club America Razor, but I think that has to do with the fact that it's a slightly higher blade gap. So. This has a really wide approach angle. So it's really easy to find kind of where the rubber meets the road. Uh, let's do that on the second pass. It's a very forgiving razor. It will tend to forgive poor shaving habits to an extent. As with any titanium razor, you do not have the weight working in your favor because there isn't hardly any. So it's going to take a bit more uh, finesse with your finger, hand, and wrist movement to, uh, to get it to perform the way you might want it to. So far, so good. Might have got a little bit of a nick right there, but I think that's, uh, I get a lot of bumps and ingrown hairs and things like that, even when things are going well. So it's hard to know what to blame it on. Usually I'll tend to default to, uh, I'm just uh, having uh, over-enthusiastic shaving habits and it's coming back to bite me, but sometimes it's really not my fault. It's uh, just the imperfections in my face. that are doing me no favors at all. And sometimes it's a combination of the two. It, like I said, sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay. But yeah, there's definitely a substantial weight difference. This Yates uh, Titanium Razor, it's a funny thing. Uh, we tend to associate high quality with something that's heavy. Well, with this Titanium Razor, that's not really the best logic, because this is uh, much more durable than a steel razor, but with a lot less weight. Getting right under my nose is never the easiest thing to do. I think I got that about as good as it's going to get. Okay, now, under the lip, 
I would say this falls slightly outside of the realm of an autopilot razor. You do have to have a, a baseline level of attention to detail to get this to play nice for you. Um, lather up down there again because under my chin tends to need a bit of blade buffing. You definitely need to defeat that urge to apply more pressure because the weight isn't is not applying it for you. But once you get that down, then it's pretty much just business as usual. I think that's the one thing that makes it not quite an autopilot razor is the fact that you uh, really have to fight the urge to apply more pressure to your face. Whereas with a heavy razor, most people don't have that, that inclination. Okay, let's have a rinse. See how I did. pretty impressed to be honest the allen block will take care of this little spot so let's just go ahead and do that let's see if I'm right let's use the shave nation allen block deodorant stick looking kind of thing let's see what kind of a job I did no stinging feedback on the neck a little bit on the chin of course of that nick that was there no stinging feedback on the top of my lip or across both sides of the face so if this is the worst thing that happened during the shave then i'm happy with that okay let's do the aftershave okay time for the mirasol metal saw let's put it on do -do 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 -do. Ooh, almost overdid it with that one okay here we go Ooh wee! Some wonderful stinging feedback in a couple places. Mirasol is one of those uh, aftershaves that, if you got a nearly perfect shave, it's not going to sting too too much. But if you had uh, a little bit of a rough go of it, it's going to light up your face pretty good. That much I will say. Okay, now let's do final thoughts on the soap first. Sterling Haverford. I don't believe I have a full-size tub of that in my collection back in the States, but would I buy a full-size tub of it? That's the question. Um, probably not. Not because there's anything wrong with the soap, but because I already have Murphy and McNeil. Uh, I can't remember what the name of that soap is. I'll put it across the bottom of the screen, but uh, it's their... It's Murphy McNeil's version of Tom Ford Tobacco Vini. And I just think Murphy and McNeil does a better job of nailing that scent. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. But you are not poorly served with the Sterling Haverford. If you want a good vanilla tobacco scent, Sterling Haverford is absolutely good to go. No complaints to speak of. All right, let's talk about the Razor. Yates Precision 921M. So I would recommend this razor to anybody who wants a high quality shaving tool in their den. Like if you really want to treat yourself day in and day out to the highest quality shaving tools, hardware, software, soap, razors, etc. Then this is definitely one option for that. Uh, in hindsight, I probably would have gotten a more polished finish. But at the end of the day, this is a shaving tool, and so I figured the as machined would be good enough, and it is. It, it probably wasn't worth it to me to pay who knows how much extra money to have this polished up before they sent it out to me. 
but it did have some tiny little scratches and machining marks in it, but that's to be expected. It's in there as machined finish. The uh, It didn't have as much trouble <laughs> with uh, finishing and machining nearly as did the uh, Wet Shaving Club America Razor. That had all sorts of finishing and tooling problems on it that I had to fix. This one came right out of the box, absolutely good to go, and just a couple of minor scratches that you probably wouldn't even notice unless you were really looking for them. So I would say that this is a great bang for your buck. If you're looking for a titanium razor, definitely check out Yates Precision because they do some of the less expensive titanium razors on the market. That's just, that's just how it is. $235 is not a lot of money for a titanium razor. It really isn't. Okay, that's the video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed it and got something useful information-wise out of it. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.